What's up, guys? It's Phone Finds episode 32. Jeez, I'm really getting far with this. And I found some pretty interesting stuff. I found another really old phone and another good one, too. But, of course, it's got issues. And something that's actually not even a phone. So I'll do some explaining first. So today, I actually went to three different places. I went to a Best Buy. It was garbage, just batteries and ink carts. Total waste of time. A different Target with the new bins. They weren't deep bins. The bin was just open. I just lifted it up and it opened. It was just a tiny cardboard box. And all that was in there was like what I'm about to show. And then I went to my usual Target and got some, got a couple things. I actually, no. Today, I didn't find nothing because the, the bin somehow jammed again. I think some, it looked like some piece of cardboard. Like someone threw it in there and just kind of messing up the locking mechanism. But I went... I actually went the day before and got a little bit of stuff. So I'll just start with what I got at the different Target. Now this is strange. When I picked this up, I honestly thought this was going to be a DS. But it's actually just a Chinese to English translator, the Besta C81. I almost thought it was going to be like a weird pocket computer, like running Windows CE or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. It even has a PCMIA card, like slot. It's covered in glitter for some reason, too. Uh, let me show it. This is all in Chinese. Uh, let's see. Yep, PCM PCMCIA. And it doesn't work. It, it just does nothing. So I'm probably just going to throw this back into the bin where it belongs. The next sign, it's actually a phone, is this pretty old Kyocera Phantom. It's from like 2003. I can't test it since its charger is like that. I have a one... I think I have my Nokia charger would work for this, but it's not this house, so I can't test it right now. I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's an old flip, not flip phone. It's an old candy bar phone, and these take a beating. Check how shiny that is, though. Ooh. All right, now onto some smartphones. This is an iPhone 4S. It's a 16 gig on AT&T. It's on iOS 9.3.5. 9 3, 9 it works fine. Oops, exposed some messages. Yeah, it's slow like you'd expect a 9.3.5 iPhone 4S to be. It's got this OtterBox Defender case on it, I think. It desperately needs a clean. I mean, let me lift this up real quick. Ah. Look at all the dirt on the speakers. I mean, that's vomit worthy. It's probably just sat in a cupboard for years after, like, probably like after 2015 when this thing got slow. All right, show off the thing I usually do for these iPhones. Yep, 16 gig, 9.3.5, AT&T. It's descriptive enough. This case is kind of falling apart, so I might remove it. But I like how it looks. Other than that, this thing's fine. This is an Alcatel or T-Mobile Revel, whichever you want to call it. It looks to be in pretty good shape. But what's sad is when I plug it in to the charger, it'll say 100%, but the power button's broken, so I can't turn it on. Just going to have to figure some way to turn it on. I like the back, even though it's plastic. Pretty interesting. This is an LG Rebel 3. I already ha It's on track phone. I pretty much have the same phone except the Cricut version. It's called like the LG. Uh, I already forget. LG Tribute or something like that. That's probably not even right. But it technically works. It's just I haven't been able to find it working Google by Google Lock bypass for it. So this thing is Google Locked, which I'll prove really quickly. We got the time to. Yeah, setup is new. It's gonna say the account thing pretty soon. I'm probably just going to switch the motherboard from the uh, Cricut one into this cause, and the battery because the one I have currently has a cracked screen and a worse battery. Yep, there's a proof. It's Google locked. So I can't use it. Oh, well. I already have basically the same phone. So I already know what it's going to be like. Now, I think this is the best find. I have an S7 Edge, and now I have a regular S7. This one's also in bad shape. Actually, I think it might even be in worse shape. Well, the front isn't. Front is all cracked up. You'd expect the AMOLED to be broken. It's like the... This part's almost like worn off, like the S6. But somehow, the AMOLED is fine. Just burn in. Problem is, I don't know the pattern, and I know it's going to get Google locked. And I don't want this, I don't know if there's a bypass for the thing. There's not a bypass for the S7 Edge. And this thing is also on Sprint, if this is correct, because it says Sprint free message. Oops. So that might be a problem. I don't want to get it Google locked. In the back. Yikes. Definitely. If I restore this, I'm at least replacing the back. And the camera doesn't even have its glass. Can't really see it on, on my camera, but in real life, you can see how the iOS works. So that's kind of cool. 
So I'll restore that, hopefully get it working. But yeah, this is this is what I found. Let me just set like a sort sort it all up real quick. So yeah, this is what I found at uh, two different targets. Well, that came, this came from a, one target. And these five things came from the usual. Pretty good. Most of the uh, other binners, as I like to call them, say, "Oh, during the summer, like getting phones is so slow and bad." And it's like quite the opposite for me. During the once school started getting like close to ending, I, I started getting like hella phones. So let's just hope this keeps up. And yeah. These are will be a fine addition to the collection, but that's it for this video, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed, as per usual.